Hi, it's Carol from bookreporter.com. We're bringing you something a little bit different this week. Last week, I went to American Bookseller Association's Winter Institute in Baltimore. And on the way home, I stopped at the American Library Association's Winter Conference in Philadelphia. And as I was doing these two events, I got an idea of why don't we just go over and have a couple of authors speak with us and share what their books are about. Just hold up their book, name, title, and a little bit about what the book's about. So I'm very happy to share that we have 13 authors that we're bringing you in this format today. It's a little bit different, not our typical book reporter talks to, it's really they talk at us. And uh, we have some faces you're gonna recognize, some names you're gonna recognize, and a lot of debuts. So also I'm gonna give you a little bit of a flavor of what actually happens on the floor um, at one of these shows um, by showing you what happened at Winter Institute for this one evening where there's a reception, where there are a number of different authors that are at different tables around the room and uh, booksellers are just going from table to table, meeting them, getting signed books and hearing more about the books. So we'll give you a little bit of the ambiance of the room and then we'll cut to 13 authors talking about their titles. Looking forward to sharing this with you. Here we are at Winter Institute. This is one of the big evenings where everybody just walks around and goes and meets authors. It's the author reception. They're all signing books and people are just milling around. Booksellers are online to meet authors, get their books signed. And here's a little panorama of the room right now. So you can just see the excitement that's sort of building. Hello, my name is Alex George, and I'm the author of The Paris Hours, uh, which is coming out in May from Flatiron Books. Uh, this is a book uh, that is set in Paris uh, during a very uh, hot summer of 1927. It takes place over the course of one day, uh, and there are actually four interconnected stories in this book. And while the stories uh, interconnect and they cross-pollinate with each other, each story features one uh, principal protagonist, there is a, uh, a painter, a lovelorn painter, who's very deeply in debt. There is uh, an Armenian puppeteer who performs puppet shows for the children of Paris uh, in his own language. Uh, and there is a writer uh, who wanders the streets looking for his missing daughter. Uh, and finally, there is the maid of Marcel Proust. And really the story began with her. And I was reading a memoir of Proust's real life maid, who's called Celeste Albaret. Uh, and she, um, she wrote one day that uh, Proust asked her to burn all of his notebooks, um, which gave me mild palpitations. But when I sort of calmed down, I thought, well, what would happen if, um, if she actually saved one of those notebooks and one of them was rescued from the fire? Uh, and then I thought, and what would happen if, um, if there were secrets in that notebook that um, everybody thought were destroyed but actually weren't. And from that one seed, this, this story uh, sort of came about. And um, Marcel Proust appears in the book, but only very peripherally. But the title of his masterwork, In Search of Lost Time, could be taken as the overarching theme of, of, of this book, um, because each of those four stories that I mentioned, they, they weave the past with the present. Uh, and all four of those characters are desperately searching for something that they've lost. Uh, it's a book about love and family and hope and uh, art and loss. Uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. Hey, I'm Sam Lansky and my book is Broken People out June 9th on Hanover Square Press. This is a novel inspired by an experience I had when I met a mysterious healer who said he could fix all of my emotional problems in three days. Uh, you'll have to read the book in order to find out whether that worked or not. I'm Alexa Shaken, and I'm the author of St. X. This is a story about tragedy and what comes next. It's about how the death of a teenage girl on a family vacation in the Caribbean reverberates in the lives of the other characters across decades and continents. And it's really a deep dive into character and aftermath, and the question, when you're left behind in the wake of a tragedy, who do you become? I've interviewed some of the authors. I'm going to try and do some more. This is basically the scene right now. So let's see who else we can go interview. Hi, uh, this is Kirkland Hamill. This is my book, Filthy Beast. It's a memoir, uh, a riches to rags story about my uh, funny and yet uh, crazy family. It's a story about my mother, 
um, in my relationship with her. Uh, she was a, an interesting character, somebody that I loved very much. Um, but uh, as funny as she was, she was also could be somewhat cruel. As um, impressive as she was as a person, and uh, you know, a lot of people when they started to read the blog stories that it was based on, really um, were drawn to how strong she was and how fearless she could be. But people were also aware of, you know, how tragic and um, uh, troubled she was as well. So I really wanted to tell a story that was funny, but also sad and and really could be funny and sad uh, sometimes in the same uh, moment in the same story. So the title is called Filthy Beast because that was the term of endearment that my mother used for us, which um, as much as she used it often as a way, uh, an affectionate term, um, it also to a certain extent was an indictment of the fact that, you know, we, um, soiled a little bit of her life as much as we enriched it because she had dreams that were larger than um, that ultimately uh, ended up uh, her life her life ended up being so anyway I uh, I hope you enjoy it it's a little bit David Sedaris a little bit Augustin Burroughs um, I really drew a lot of inspiration from those writers and um, anyway Filthy Beasts I hope you like it Hello, my name is Janet Skeslin Charles, and I'm excited to talk to you about my book today, The Paris Library. It's World War II, Paris is occupied. There's a war on words, and it's Nazis versus American librarians, and the librarians win. I first learned about this amazing story when I worked at the American Library in Paris. It's the largest English language lending library on the continent. The book is about Dorothy Reeder, an American librarian who worked at the American Library and she faced the Nazis and she delivered books to the library's Jewish readers. The book is a love letter to libraries and it's also an exploration of the relationships that make us who we are. Friends and family, of course, but also first loves and favorite authors. Thank you. Hi, I'm Robin Wasserman. Um, this is my new novel, Mother, Daughter, Widow, Wife. It's a book about a woman who's found on a bus in Philadelphia with no memory of who she is or how she got there. And she's diagnosed with being in a fugue state, which is a, um, which is a form of temporary amnesia that has no physical cause. And usually when it lifts, you have no memory of what happened during the fugue state. I really wanted to write a book about amnesia that was a story not about finding out about the past, but about building a new life from scratch and trying to figure out who you would be if you had no memories and no baggage and no obligations. And for me, this is both a chance to kind of explore um, the science of memory and the history of psychology and the question of how, um, how classically um, men have made knowledge on women's bodies. Also a chance to just kind of think through the question of what roles society um, kind of assigns to women and allows for women and who women might be able to be um, if they were operating in a space where they had nothing to tether them to the obligations and responsibilities of their lives and sort of the possibilities and terrors of that. So um, yeah, I hope that I hope that sounds interesting and if you read it, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm Allie Frank. And I'm Asha Yeomans. And we are longtime educators who are super excited to introduce you to our debut novel, Tiny Imperfections, on May 5th. Uh, Tiny Imperfections is a satirical novel uh, of women's fiction um, about a multi-generational family of women, um, all set against the backdrop of San Francisco's most prestigious private school. The book addresses race, single parenting, and dating at 40. And come on, Asha, it is also funny because you know what, when it comes to kindergarten and it comes to kids and it comes to parents, it is all hilarious. And all fair in Love and Admissions. Hi, my name's Anna Solomon. This is my novel, The Book of V. It is about three very different women, a Brooklyn mother of two in 2016, a senator's wife in 1970s Washington, D.C., and Queen Esther from the Bible in ancient Persia. And the book weaves their lives together um, until the point when their stories converge and collide in the present day. It's about how women's lives and choices have and haven't changed over thousands of years.
I'm Caro Black. I'm at the Winter Institute for the Booksellers in America. And appropriately, we're in Baltimore at the Poe Room because this is where Edgar Allan Poe is from. I write the Emile Duke investigation series set in Paris, 19 of them. But this is Three Hours to Paris, my first standalone historical thriller set in June 1940. It's based on a historical detail about Hitler's visit to Paris for only three hours. Now, there's, I posit reasons for that in this story, but we've got a spunky American woman from Oregon who lived a hard scrabble life during the Depression on a ranch. She's a, a, a Marx woman. She grew up on a ranch shooting predators, you know, getting food, saving, you know, saving the ranch. She's, uh, she's sort of an every woman, it's someone, your sister, your aunt, your mother, you're the daughter. And she suffers a tragedy at the beginning of World War II and loses her family, her husband and her baby, and has a vendetta against the Germans for what happened and uses her skills to fight the enemy. I'm sort of obsessed by World War II and doing my research during 20 years of writing MA books, I would always hear these nuggets, these historical facts and talk to résistants who were still alive um, about what they had gone through in Paris. There's so many stories, so little has come out and these people are not the generation to talk about the heroic things they've done and so I just needed to write about that. Hi, my name is Julie Clark. My book, The Last Flight, is about two women who are desperate to escape their lives, and so they trade plane tickets. One woman going to Oakland, the other woman going to Puerto Rico. When my main character, Claire, gets off the plane in Oakland, she realizes that the Puerto Rico plane crashed. She's stuck in Oakland. She has no identity. She has no money. The only thing she has is the other woman's purse. And so she decides to assume that woman's identity. But what she doesn't know is that that woman has secrets. She was not honest about who she was. And there are people in Oakland who have noticed she's gone missing. My name is Becky Mandelbaum, and I'm the author of The Bright Side Sanctuary for Animals. And it's coming out in August of 2020. And I started writing this book after volunteering on an animal sanctuary when I was maybe 20 years old. and. It was a really beautiful sanctuary. There were a ton of animals, but the woman who ran it was way in over her head. She had hundreds of dogs and they roamed her property and she had so clearly dedicated everything in her life to them. And so while I was there, I was just wondering what her life would look like if she had a daughter. So that's originally where the idea for the book came from. And I rewrote it in 2016 after the presidential election. I was living alone, caretaking a ranch, and I was surrounded by animals, and I was like, if there's a time for me to finish this book, now's the time. So the finished product follows um, a mother and her daughter trying to reconcile after the daughter ran away six years ago. Um, and the book starts after there is a hate crime on the animal sanctuary. So the daughter returns home to try to help her mom and figure things out and make things right. So that's a little about the book. If you love dogs, I think that it will be a fun read. Hi, my name is Laura Zygman. This is my new novel, Separation Anxiety. It's about a couple who can't afford to get divorced and they have to stay together. And it's a book about marriage and middle age and just life in general. And about a woman who ends up wearing her dog to feel happy. Um, so I'm excited, March 3rd, 2020. Hope you enjoyed that little roundup of 13 authors talking about their upcoming titles. Something fun to just put together for you. Hope you found some books to add to your to-be-read list as well. I know I did. And we look forward to sharing a lot more about those books with you in the months to come. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.